Hi, my name is Alejandro Duran, your spiritual fitness coach, and I want to begin our time together with a quick story. On October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses on the doors of the church at Wittenberg, Germany. As he spent time searching, studying, and listening to the voice of God through the scriptures, he became convinced that the church has been misleading others on the belief of salvation. Luther, in his thesis, advocated for the true message of the gospel. Salvation came at the hands of God's grace through faith alone in Christ alone. Works were not the means one is saved from God's wrath. Rather, works are the fruit of our transformation and new life in Jesus. Dishonesty, deception, and lying are part of our sinful nature. Many of us would consider our little white lies something minor that would cause no harm. But I share this story with you because as I search the scriptures to learn about dishonesty, often I see that dishonesty is lying and deceiving from the teachings of God. Let me point you to the scriptures to see these. For instance, Exodus 20.16 says, You must not lie. Proverbs 12.22 says, The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in people who are trustworthy. How about Proverbs 10.9? Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his way crooked will be found out. But then, You have instructions as these. In Colossians 2, 4, Paul, in the context of the treasure of the message of the gospel in Christ, he writes, I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. In other words, here is the message you have heard. This is true. And I tell you so that no one may deceive you with any other kind of argument. Or for instance, in James 1.22, when it says, But be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. This means that if you don't follow what God is instructing as you learn from him, you are being dishonest in your walk with God. You may not be a person who has been truly transformed by the good news of the gospel. Let me bring you into my world to see this too in real life, deluding God's word and lying and deceiving. It's tax season. I've caught myself reporting more expenses than needed on my 1099 so that I can pay less taxes. I have reported more income on a loan application so I can get an approval letter. I have told my employer that I've completed a project when in reality, the project wasn't even started. Yet the worst is that my employer fully trust in me. I've diluted the message of the gospel when sharing with an unbeliever because I don't want to have hard spiritual conversations that may cause them to walk away. Your experiences may be a bit different than mine, but can you relate? Winning today means that We don't compromise the truth for a lie. Winning today means that 
we shared the truth of Christ as it is written and not diluted. Just because conversations may be hard and intimidating to us. But there is hope. There are blessings from God as we pursue to be faithful with our speech. Be reminded that God delights in those with trustworthy lips. You and I can win today as we pursue the integrity of our hearts so that it is reflected in our speech. Now, go and win today.